What's going on Skeeters Nation? Long time no see. Welcome to the first Skeeters Dish of the 2018 season. I'm your host Jessica Munoz. This week's episode promises what's to come this season as well as the first sit down interview with Skeeters manager Pete and Cavilla. Well, let's get it going. The Skeeters reading program reached over 30,000 students this school year, but it's not over yet. If your kid's interested in earning two tickets to a Skeeters game, all they have to do is read four books over the summer. Check out the Skeeters website for more information. I got to sit down with Skeeters brand new manager, Pete Incavilia. Let's see how it went. I'm joined by Skeeters manager, Pete Incavilia. Pete, your first year here in Sugarland, but certainly not your first in baseball. You bring a lot of experience and knowledge to the team. What do you think your favorite part about managing a team like this is? Um, I, I think it's the actual organization from the top to the bottom, you know, and having the uh, support system that I have here with the Zlotnick family, obviously the owners of the team are, 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 is a baseball family. And, uh, you know, obviously our president and GM, Jay Miller, you know, who has spent, you know, his life in baseball and, and knows the games in, in and out. And uh, just the entire office organization, I mean, it's... Uh, the support system here is so much better um, than anything I've ever been a part of before. You got to put together the team this year. What kind of qualities or characteristics did you look for in the players that you chose? Well, I, I normally build my team with people, um, not necessarily numbers. Um, you know, it's the team that plays best together that wins. And uh, you got to find the right guys that are going to come out and, and, you know, play hard every pitch, you know, not, you know, not pick and choose when they want to play. So. Um, you know, it, it takes all winter. You know, you got to you know you do a lot of networking, call a lot of people before you sign anybody. But uh, um, you know, I try to build my team with good human beings. You personally have your roots here in Texas. Made your major league debut with the Rangers, and then closed out your final MLB game with the Astros. Coached a few teams in Texas. What does it mean to you to be able to stay coaching in Sugarland, Texas? Oh, it's great. You know, I mean, I, I've been a, a, home has always been the Dallas Fort Worth area for me um, ever since I you know, was uh, uh, not drafted, but traded for, you know, to, to play for the Rangers. And then they, obviously I played here two different years in 1992 and 98. So it was like I was coming home, you know what I mean? It was, you know, uh, playing in Houston is like, just like, you know, playing for the Rangers. I mean, it's, I consider this, you know, pretty close to my heart and, you know, I have a lot of friends and in Houston and in the Houston area and, you know, obviously, um, you know, it's great to be close to home. There's no question about that. Here in Sugarland, we have a great fan base out here at every game, a lot of season ticket holders. What do you feel the reception has been for you as the manager? Uh, I, the fans have been great. Uh, you know, the support, like I said, from the, you know, go back to the support system. And you know, now you're looking at, you know, the city of Sugarland, you know, the support they give this team here and the fan base. I mean, they just just great. I mean, I've, I've never really been a part of anything like this in ind independent ball. The, the tremendous support the fans and, and the city give to this, this ball club. And we're certainly happy to have you here and look forward to seeing how the rest of the season goes. Thank you so much for taking some time to sit down with me. Uh, no problem. Anytime. The Skeeters return to Constellation Field June 25th through July 1st for a homestand filled with fun activities. On Saturday, June 29th, the Skeeters kick off their post-game concert series with the Spasmatics. Then on the 30th, it's everything paired head night. The Skeeters will be wearing these awesome jerseys that will be auctioned off at the end of the game. And after the game, fans will be treated to a post-game concert with Jerry Diaz and Hannah Reed. That's going to do it for this week's episode. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you stay tuned for more Skeeters Dish episodes that will feature player interviews and challenges and more fun and exciting content. As always, make sure you follow us on all of our social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. Until next time, I'll see you out at the ballpark.